ஸ்ரீ குருபியோ நமகா ஸ்ரீ ஆரந்தேன் குரூப் ஆஃப் ஸ்கூல்ஸ் வி வெல்கம் யூ டு அவர் ஆன்லைன் லேர்னிங் இனிஷியேட்டிவ் ஏகலைவா ஹலோ ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ் வெல்கம் டு த ஆன்லைன் இங்கிலீஷ் லேர்னிங் ஃபார் கிளாஸ் சிக்ஸ் நவ் வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு லேர்ன் த சிக்ஸ்த் பார்ட் ஆஃப் யுவர் ப்ரோஸ் லெசன் த டெம்பிஸ்ட் பை வில்லியம் ஷேக்ஸ்பியர் திஸ் இஸ் கோயிங் டு பி த ஃபைனல் பார்ட் Let's proceed children. A recap of part 5. Prospero brings Alonso and Antonio to his place with the help of Ariel. The other sailors too are brought to Prospero's cave due to magic. All the sailors are happy that no one is harmed and their ship is safe. Prospero has brought Alonso and Antonio to his cave with the help of Ariel. and the other sailors also are brought to prospero's cave now prospero alonso and antonio are going to meet what will happen when they meet and how is the story going to end let's read and find out ariel brought alonso and antonio to the mouth of prospero's cave and broke their trance ariel brought alonso and antonio to prospero's cave and released them from their spell alonso gasped as ferdinand and miranda stepped out of the darkness and in hand and his eyes blurred with tears alonso was surprised when he saw ferdinand and miranda together and his eyes was filled with tears What a wonderful new world is this that has such people in it he wondered alonso is saying what a wonderful new world is this island which has such nice people in it the world that will be made when we return to naples and our children are joined in marriage said a voice there was a reply for what he said the world the wonderful world will be the world that will be made when we return to naples and our children are joined in marriage alonso and antonio turned and saw prospero standing behind them when they heard the voice alonso and antonio turned to see who it was they saw prospero standing behind them antonio could not meet his brother's eyes and hung his head in shame antonio could not look into his brother's eyes because he had cheated his brother and he felt very ashamed of himself let our old hate be ended by their young love alone so prospero said prospero is continuing to talk he says let our hate be ended by the young love of Ferdinand and Miranda. He came forward and placed his hand on Antonio's shoulder. Now Prospero is coming forward and placing his hand on Antonio's shoulder. I forgive you, brother, he said. He speaks to his brother and said that he is forgiving him. We will rule Milan together and end our days in peace. Prospero is again continuing. He is saying, we both will rule milan together and our future days will be peaceful and happy now we are the two brothers prospero and antonio isn't it so prospero is saying that both of us will rule milan together and be happy now go down to the shore and make ready to leave this island forever and he is telling everybody to get ready to leave this island forever are you coming father asked miranda miranda is asking her father are you coming in a moment my child prospero said prospero said i'll be there in a moment he waited until he was alone then whispered ariel prospero waited till everyone left and then he said in a soft voice ariel 
Ariel grew out of emptiness. Ariel suddenly appeared. Too excited to hold one shape, he turned into a hummingbird, then a butterfly, then a winged unicorn. Ariel was very excited because all the plans of his master has been successful and Ariel also has helped his master to execute his plans, isn't it? So Ariel is very excited and now Ariel is also going to become free. So he is not able to control his excitement and he is turning from one form to another. He is turning into a hummingbird and then into a butterfly and then into a winged unicorn. I have burned my books of magic and my wizard's stuff, Prospero declared. Prospero is talking to Ariel. I have burned all my books of magic and my stuff. You are free to go, my Ariel, but I shall sadly miss you. Prospero is saying, now you are a free spirit. My spell shall no longer control you. You are free to go, but I shall sadly miss you. But I will really miss you. And I shall miss you, dear master, said Ariel. Ariel also is saying that I shall also miss you. But look for me in springtime blossom or when summer breeze stirs your curtain or when the winter stars blaze bright. And Ariel is saying, though I am separating from you, my presence will be felt with you throughout the year. You can feel my presence through all the seasons of summer, winter and spring. Until then, farewell. Until then, goodbye, Master, Ariel is saying. Farewell, sweet spirit, said Prospero. And he turned away so that Ariel did not see the tears in his eyes. Prospero is saying, goodbye, sweet spirit. And he turned away so that Ariel could not see the tears in Prospero's eyes. Prospero felt really sad when he was separating from Ariel. And so, he had tears in his eyes. As the ship's sails unfurled and it began to glide away, Caliban came out of his hiding place in the jungle. Now, as the ship started moving, Caliban came out of his hiding place in the jungle. He danced on the beach, turning cartwheels as he whooped. I am king of the island, king. He danced on the beach by turning cartwheels and he shouted saying that he is the king. Caliban was very happy because Prospero has left and there is no one to control him. He is the one and only king of that island and he was shouting and turning cartwheels. Turning cartwheels is turning over your body by bringing your legs over your head. So Caliban was enjoying his freedom. Now he is the only king of that island. With this, we are concluded our prose lesson, The Tempest. In conclusion, I would like to say, Prospero has forgiven his brother Antonio and King Alonso and is returning to his kingdom of Milan. Prospero wants to rule Milan with his brother and Ferdinand and Miranda are to be married. Prospero Though sad to leave the sweet spirit Ariel, relieves him from his spell. Prospero has burnt all his magical books and stuff and is no longer a wizard. Everything ends in favor of Prospero and everyone are happily united forever. Now we have come to an end of our story. Prospero has forgiven the wrongdoers and made them realize their mistake. And Ferdinand and Miranda are married. With this, we have finished our gross lesson, The Tempest. I hope you enjoyed the story, children. Thank you very much.